This is the most incredible and diverse collection of items that we have for sale in our December antique sale. Uh, we're holding it over three days and we're going to show you some of the most amazing items that I've ever seen coming up for sale here. There's some beautiful jewellery that we're going to show you in a minute. Here are some of the most um, amazing items. This it here is a necklace from the Cook Islands. It's made of whale bone or whale teeth. It's either 18th or 19th century. Um, there's one in the British Museum. Here's the one in the British Museum. And they say in their collection that there are only 20 of these in existence. It's, it comes from the tiny island of Mangaia in the southern Cook Islands. And it's exceptionally rare. And uh, we're hoping to have worldwide interest in that. Right next to it here um, has come from a local deceased estate. And this is an Olympic collection. So this is an Olympic bronze medal, won at the Stockholm Olympics uh, in 1908, I think that was, wasn't it? Or 1912. <laughs> uh, he was at the London Olympics in 1908. And I think that is, well, it's 1948. This is London Olympics in 1908. That's his attendance medal. He didn't win anything that year, but four years later, he was in the four by 400 meters and won that bronze. Uh, this is a solid gold, 15 karat gold medal that he won. Uh, those are all his medals there. This is his um, badge from the 1908 Olympics that was on his, on his, he wore it on his shirt. And that was from the front of his, I think they wore this right in the middle on the front of the shirt there as well. And his cap. And that's him with all his prizes. And I'll show you in a minute this magnificent trophy here we have that for sale as well but that's and that was him in the first world war where he won the military obe which is there as well so all this collection here and quite a lot more as well there's a lot of silver trophies to go with it that i'll show you in a minute so one magnificent collection of olympic related items um staying on the oceanic <laughs> Field. These are from Fiji. These are proper tribal war clubs made of iron wood, very knotty sort of natural wood and a chip carved handle as well so that you can keep your grip on it when there's blood running down it. <laughs> so there are two of those from a local house that we cleared. Um, the, some very interesting early American photography here. So these two are tin type photographs. I'm not sure if you can, if you can see the image there. So that's a picture of an American soldier. And on the outside, you can see the Stars and Stripes flags. Um, and it's, there's some embossed text around the outside as well. And it's in its original leather case, which is rather nice. This is a tin type as well. And the rare thing here is it depicts um, a woman breastfeeding. Should be an incredibly rare image to see there. And this um, in the 19th century anyway. And this is an amber type photograph of an American policeman, I suppose he is, isn't he? Very interesting images there. Right next to it here is a bank clock. This again has come from a local private house and this was in, I've got a label here, clock was in the security office of the City Bank in Queen Victoria Street, London. Um, it was acquired by me in 1964 when the old premises were demolished. And that's, and it's unusual, it's wound on the front there. So it can stay on a shelf in, in a compartment and be wound. That's quite a rare item. Uh, we'll just go on the front here and have a look in these cabinets, which are all stacked up at the moment. They're not really on display at the moment because we're not quite sure whether we'll be allowed to be open for viewing, but we're hoping we will be. Um, but there is so much silver and jewellery this time, so we're going to have a whole day of silver and jewellery in this sale, so that'll be on the Thursday. We'll come back to the jewellery and the watches in a minute. We can just scan past it quickly. We'll go into more detail with those in a second. That's well worth a look. This clock here is incredibly rare. This is a Wiener Werkstatt shop 
uh, clock designed by Joseph Hoffman. Looks very simple in design, but it's a registered and well-known example. Well recorded this as well. And uh, there'll only be a few of those existing in the world. We'll go past here as well. Lots and lots of silver. This trophy here is solid silver. And some beautiful Scandinavian glass here. Most of this is by Vika Lindstrand for Costa, but very good condition as well. Some interesting artworks here as well. Uh, these are in the picture section, which will be on the Friday. Um, most of these are by John Maltby, who's known for his studio pottery. That's fun. I really like that. The swimmer. And what else have we got? Now these are items that you'd think you'd seen quite regularly, but I haven't seen another pair of cats. You're quite used to seeing the Staffordshire Spaniels, but I've, I haven't seen another pair of cats before, so I think they're quite rare things. And that's an Indian carved wood fragment there. Uh, we'll just keep going around here. There are so many things in this sale, literally about 2,000 lots in this sale. It's so many to, to scour through and it looks fantastic online. Um, we have cleared the most fascinating house full of items. It's, it was so interesting. There are so many little ornaments um, that we're selling in boxfuls up here. I'll show you in a minute. But look, here's an example that we're selling in one lot. So all of these, we usually sell these one or two at a time, but that's a box full of Georgian labels with whalebone handles. Masses of them in there. Must be about 20 in one lot there. Little group lot of thermometers. <laughs> if you want one, there's about seven there. A lovely stained glass window here, I'll just show you this. Isn't that magnificent? Cabinets and tables are covered in really interesting things. We'll just scan through Some model railway up here, and good collection of guitars. That's another another probate collection. There's a Fender in there. There's a flamenco guitar, which is pretty good. Um, very stylish chair here. Which looks like it's smiling at you. It's so comfortable. It's just right. I really like this. Can't afford it though. <laughs> There's a lion in the corner. Can't miss him. There's a very stylish um, Liberty Arts and Crafts um, oak and copper hall stand. It needs fixing together. So these go. One for each side. Very stylish hall stand there. And we'll keep going. Now this here. Oh, more of these um, National Savings Committee posters. So these are originals, straight from the Savings Committee. Um, so most of these are sold separately. But some really good images here. That wanted for sabotage. Hitler's pal. Good, aren't they? That's up here. Uh, now let's have a look at these. These are from another um, probate. Actually, this is from the same house as the Olympic collection. So there is his WMF. Tro trophy that will be about 1910. There's no inscription on it, which is probably a good thing actually, because it's probably not the value. But what a magnificent table centre that is! It's electro plate and cut glass, 
you know, over 100 years old. Spectacular. Uh, I really like this. Look at that. A coffee and schnapps set. Isn't that brilliant? It's absolutely immaculate condition. That'll be 19... 15 to 1920 probably with a little glass handle that's really stylish like that and a bell that's rather nice and these islamic things again from the same house so that's a really good copper brass and silver inlaid jardinier very nice um, standard lamp as well and these other items these are more of the trophies from the Olympic collection, so these all go with the medals, including these teacups, there's a silver trophy there, the coffee set as well, that was a prize. These trophies, they're all silver, Budapest 1912, and these are gold, they go with it as well. And where should we go? Let's, oh well, wine. It, on the first day of the sale, there's about 70 lots of wine from two local cellars. So they've all been kept in immaculate condition, very good, um, very, very well kept wines. They're all very drinkable, all photographed and, and properly catalogued online as well. The magnum of Paul Roger, Winston Churchill. Now, most of this on the shelves above is from one house that we cleared. And there is so much. It's, it was really interesting. We grouped a lot of it into little box vaults, but they're fascinating. There's so many nice little things in these groups. Look at these little um, boxes of um, Japanese carvings here and a little ivory cherub beautifully carved and this which is amazing I, I, this is quite incredible so this is an ivory bust of a man and on the back it has this label that says made by prisoner of war in Japanese camp 1944 only tools were a nail and broken glass isn't that incredible so lifelike this is the handle from a Regency Dandy cane, <laughs> brass inlaid cane, and this one is Japanese with faces carved into it. That'll be about a hundred years old. Some latticino glass. This is I love this as well. This is from Peru. And the owner took to this to the British Museum, who confirmed that it was 16th century. So it's a ceremonial um, kettle, or tea, or, or wine flask, I should think, um, but hand-painted on the side with alpaca. And you fill it from underneath through that. 16th century, isn't that amazing? There's a, some interesting bits here. It's a little... This is a full-size snuff mull made of ram's horn and there's a miniature version which is a vinaigrette. So this one you have, you'll have a little perfume uh, sponge inside there. And what else? I think this is gold shider, this figure here. And grand tour items, little carved marble lion that goes with this obelisk. And boxes of these bronze animals. Look at that, it's all one lot. All of these bronze animals sold together there. And this is um, Martin Brothers. What a fantastic, uh, it's a one-off hand, hand incised um, stoneware cup. Very stylish, isn't it? It has got a crack, unfortunately, just running up the inside there. You can't have it all, can you? Um, some very nice um, ivory, and, but which we're selling in sort of quite large group lots. But it is all very all old and hundred-year-old groups of these. Um, again, it's all from the same deceased estate. So and up above here, these grotesque birds. 
in the style of the Martin Brothers. They are old, but, um, but they're not Martin Brothers, unfortunately. And if we carry on down here, many more lots of these things. So all of these group lots are photographed online. That's the best way to view these. But look at these. So this, here's lot 41. This is nearly all silver doll's house items here. So there's a little doll's house fire companion set and trays. There's a little tea set in there as well, candlesticks. That's all one lot there. Um, again, lots and lots of doll's house items here. Sold by the boxful. Doll's navy cut cigarettes. <laughs> if you want to encourage your children not to smoke. There's a little collection of lovely keys that are mostly silver. And every boxful here has fantastic things in. There's just there's um, little very stylish glass animals here. And they go on and on. And here's a box full of owls. Little group lot of owls. There's ivory and jade and plate. The lady who lived in this house just collected everything. There's so many items. There were cabinets in every room in the house that were crammed full of things. There's another interesting box full of treen here with ladles and corkscrews. All sorts of treen items here. And down here, black forest bears. Now this is a nice lot. That's one group of black forest bears here, but this is lovely. It includes this one, uh, an artist. I've seen that model before. There's about seven bears in one lot there. And all these wood carvings are all from the same place. There's this little group of bears at the back as well. More groups of treen items and porcelain figures. And then weapons over here. Some really interesting uh, old swords and there's a 16th century tin, that's German that one, a Marion helmet. I think that's how it's pronounced. Morion. <laughs> and uh, lots and lots of oriental ceramics. So most of these have come from the same house. There is quite a lot of damage amongst it, but there is a lot to look through. And then over here, these lovely mahogany display staircases there. So there's two there, but there's a spectacular one here. What size are that? And these wall plaques here, which are probably 17th century. And there's a lot of doll's house items here as well. So doll's house and apprentice pieces. So if we look at this, this is probably the best thing of the lot, of all the dolls or apprentice things. A beautiful very detailed miniature sideboard with cupboards here and it's got a little wine cooler cellaret drawer there as well but the detail is fantastic on that that's a, that's a good piece of it but lots of these miniature pieces of furniture so this is all on day one which is on the wednesday then on the Thursday, it's just going to be watches, silver and jewellery. And there are hundreds and hundreds of lots. It, it's the best lot we've ever had and some beautiful jewellery. We're just going to change over now and Will is going to show you some of the star lots. So, as we said, this is some of the most exciting jewellery that we've ever had in our sales. And I can't wait to show you. This is um, absolutely amazing. So. What we've got here is a massive selection from rings to bracelets, brooches, earrings, necklaces, you name it, we've got it this year and this month. <laughs> and we've also got a lovely selection of high-end luxury wristwatches, which we'll come on to in a second. Um, where do we start? Dive straight in here. We've got um, two lovely bracelets at the front here, both containing diamonds. This uh, first one closest to you here is a graduated baguette cut diamond bracelet and um, they call these tennis line bracelets 
Um, and this bracelet alone contains between 12 to 15 carats worth of diamonds. And it's all set in 18 carat white gold. And the diamonds are absolutely stunning. And this one is um, in for 10 to 15,000 pounds. But a beautiful bracelet of that. Um, we've got an emerald and diamond bracelet right next to it here. Another line bracelet. That one's lots 11, 13. Um, we've got a pair of unusual starburst earrings set with diamonds. And these were previously brooches. Um, but they've now nicely been converted into earrings. So a lot more of a usable piece of jewellery. A lovely Art Deco sapphire and diamond bracelet. Another one there in its original fitted box. And that one's by, or retailed by Goldsmiths and Silversmiths. But a beautiful original leather box to go with that one. Most of this was bought in um, London auction houses as well. Look at this. This one really is a showstopper. Seven and a half carats worth of diamonds in this 18 karat gold bangle with bracelet. Absolutely stunning diamonds. And then we come on to this amazing pad of rings. And there is a massive selection to choose from here. Got a lovely range of emeralds at the bottom there. Some beautiful diamonds surrounding them as well. Really high quality, high colour and clarity uh, diamonds. And we've got a lovely, um, another one to come in yet, which is a Colombian emerald. That one there is a Swedish ring. Very unusual shape shank. With a two carat diamond next to it. This one here is a 4.67 carat emerald cut diamond. Lovely color and clarity to that one as well. Hardly any inclusions. And this one is a round, brilliant cut. It's 5.47 carats. Amazing. If you, if you went to Hatton Garden and tried to commission any, anyone to make that ring for you, it would cost you in excess of 100,000 pounds. Beautiful stone. And this one, another unusual cut. This one is a Marquise brilliant cut. And that central stone is 3.75 carats. BS clarity. And that's at auction looking between 15 and 20,000. And then you've got some lovely fancy coloured diamonds. The first one here, this one's lot 1100, the first in the jewellery section. And it's a fancy light yellow diamond. That central diamond there is over two carats. It's stunning. The colours coming out of it is beautiful. And for that one you're looking between 10 and 15,000. And then you've got another unusual fancy coloured um, diamond at the back there. That one's a brown diamond. Which are uh, slowly becoming more popular in a nice halo setting. But massive, in interesting range of diamonds. I've never had any quite near this. But a fantastic range to have as well. Got a lovely Art Deco 18 karat gold Cartier cigarette case with ruby push buttons on either side. So you squeeze those in, and that opens it. Solid gold and in its original case. And then <laughs> a very incredible selection of wristwatches. A Rolex Day Date. This one's an 18 karat white gold, so it's solid gold all the way around and with the strap as well. And there's between six and eight carats worth of diamonds spread all the way around this watch with a mother of pearl dial as well. Lovely working order with its box. And two other Rolexes. And we've got another um, Rolex Oyster there. That's 18 karat solid gold again. And then quite a similar one here with a, a champagne dial. 
And then, in case you're, you're into aviation, this is what you need to have. This is a Breitling emergency mission, extremely over the top uh, wristwatch with a transmitter device <laughs> built into it. So just in case you get lost, <laughs> you set off the transmitter signal and um, hopefully they're on their way to you. <laughs> and it's in its um, briefcase looking box as well. Some fantastic stuff here. You really do need to have a flick through the catalogue online. Hopefully, as we said, we'll be open for viewing, but please do keep updated on our social media accounts for um, when we're able to actually let you in. Um, we also have the pictures sale, which is on the Friday. So it's a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday sale. Massive, but it's really interesting. So please do have a look through and look forward to seeing you there or online. Thank you.